Good morning, Knicks, Knicks fans. fans. What's, What's up? up, everybody? I'm Danny B. Danny B. It's the morning drive. It's the morning drive. We're talking Knicks. What's up, Knicks fans? I'm pumped this morning. Pumped. Knicks got a big win last night against Miami at home. They now own the tiebreaker, so if we end the season tied with the Heat, we got it. That's huge. That's called controlling your own destiny. That's called winning games that you need to to put yourself in a position of success. And that's what the Knicks did last night. That was huge. Jalen Brunson came back, just didn't look much of himself last night. Looked like he was still kind of, um, you know, getting back into a rhythm. But story of that first quarter was Quentin Grimes. He came out, had nine points, five rebounds. He was shooting, shooting. Knicks had the first eight points of the game, but gave the next 14 right to Miami until Quentin Grimes hit another three. Uh, Knicks missed their first six free throws. They had six turnovers in that first quarter but despite that bad play they were only down four going into that second quarter and they come out in that second a little lax still heat push that that lead up to 10 until the sixth man of the year comes off the bench that is Emmanuel quickly enters the game and he turns it up right off the bat he gets a couple of buckets you see Obi get a three Knicks go on an 11 to 0 run here and then Randall falls on his ankle awkwardly and goes out of the game he does not return that's going to be tough but Brunson starts heating up he gets five quick points including a three before the buzzer and the Knicks go up two at halftime 48 to 46 and they come out in that third and you see Obi hit a three you see RJ who struggled in the first half seeing that ball go through the hoop start seeing it go down more in this in this third quarter he starts being aggressive and, and not wavering that confidence never wavers that's huge with RJ love how he keeps his cool keeps his calm that poise that's a big thing in this league you know and that was huge so he and Grimes both hit a three you see IQ continue his playmaking he comes up with a steal and a beautiful layup and it's shot for shot and the Knicks are tied at 76 at the end of the third quarter so we go into that fourth quarter tied up and Grimes opens it up with another three who's it set up from IQ continues that beautiful playmaking. Let me wave this car on while I talk about IQ. He's making a turn anyway, so don't matter. This is a quick edit. I'm interrupting the morning drive just to make a quick drop on Emmanuel quickly. Emmanuel quickly is sixth man of the year, period. The way that he's played has been undeniable. I don't care if he started however many games. That's not how it works. Emmanuel quickly is the sixth man of the year. Watch it. Book it. But IQ continued that playmaking in that fourth quarter there. He was just great. Uh, came up with a steal for a beautiful layup. Um, he had a, a dime of a pass to Hartenstein from out of the corner through like four defenders. Just beautiful play. Play after play was huge. Uh, Knicks go on a nice little run and they go up by nine with about five minutes left or so in the game. You see Josh Hart grab a rebound, run court to court for an easy bucket. Grimes follows suit with another dunk and this just raised the intensity level the entire time. So this they just keep rolling. Tibbs left that unit in there and the Knicks were able to, to, to seal the deal. RJ gets a, a dagger of a three and then IQ gets to the free throw line and hits a couple and just puts the game out of reach and the Knicks get the win 101 to 92 like I said controlling your destiny that was so big so I feel like the Knicks have played up and down to the competition all season long and you've seen that in games we struggled against weaker teams teams that are under 500 and then teams that are, are top tier in, in their um, standings we play up to them no problem Boston Miami it's like it's that's what's the most frustrating part because you know what they're capable of and you know what the potential is and they don't play to it every single game and that's what you want to see um, so I think that for me going to the playoffs I'm really not too worried about it. I think the Knicks are going to take care of business the rest of the way through. There's only four or five more games, um, you know, and I think that we've seen them play up and down to the competition. So by the time we get to the playoffs, for the most part, we're going to be playing Cleveland. I think that we'll be up to the challenge. You know what I'm saying? We have had no problem playing up to competition. So I'm kind of looking forward to get, getting to the playoffs to really see that level of play raise and the Knicks really rise to the occasion. That's what I'm looking for. You know, last night, uh, IQ was big, 24 points, Grimes, 23 and, and nine rebounds. I believe bench had 40 uh, was a plus 40 had 49 points that was so big because they were such a difference maker in that second half um, RJ like I said great bounce back half from him the hearts just continue to impress um, you know the impact off the bench is just so big the intensity is so huge and so instrumental you know and everybody feeds off that especially guys like IQ especially guys like Grimes um, so that was just great to see so now the Knicks got to take that momentum and carry it over to the Cleveland game we got the Cavaliers tomorrow night. Um, another playoff feel. It's going to be another playoff intense game. So they're going to be they're going to have to be ready to rise to the occasion, rise to the challenge. And I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, so that's what I got. That's the morning drive. I hope everybody finished this week off uh, on a great tone. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to hit that like and retweet. And uh, I'm continuing to give out merch, some shirts, some morning drive stuff, some Knicks memorabilia. Um, so make sure you're in the running. Always appreciate the support. As always, it's always love. I'm out.